What's up, guys? You guys been here on this Thursday evening? Just got done watching uh, TNA Impact. Uh, pretty interesting show tonight. Um, there was there was some uh, things I didn't expect. Um, I'm not going to run down the show from beginning to end, but uh, I just want to point out that um, Impact tonight pretty much really promoted Eric Young as their TNA World Heavyweight Champion in uh, numerous segments. Um, we saw Bully Ray headed to Nashville looking for Dixie Carter uh, to rain on her parade. Um, we saw a, an evening gown match with Angelina Love and Velvet Sky against Brittany and Madison Rain. A fun match to watch, obviously. It didn't really matter who won. Um, this was just for showcase only uh, with the four uh, TNA knockouts, so. But anyway, um, first things first, Kurt Angle versus EC3. Um, as we watched the match, we saw Angle's knee give out. Uh, he had a hard time standing, and apparently he blew out his knee once again. What does this mean for Kurt Angle? Um, is it a storyline, or is it real? Um, one has to wonder. I know that Kurt has uh, gotten involved in a, a pilot for a new TV show. Uh, whether or not this is the excuse for him to take time off or not, I don't know as of yet, but um, I will say this. So if Kurt really did blow out his knee, I feel very, very sad for this man. Um, and uh, maybe it's time. Kurt's not getting any younger. And um, maybe it's just time for Kurt to, to sort of hang it up. You know, I don't know. Uh, but like I said, don't know whether it's a storyline or, or whether it's a you know fact or not. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, this match was very very short, um, and I you know I think the plans were for Kurt and EC3 to wrestle at Slammiversary. Um, you know that's like a month away, and uh, I don't see Kurt coming back in time uh, to wrestle Ethan Carter the third. At Slammiversary, but, you know, then again, just have to wait and see. The Wolves in a tag team match, in a ladder match, against the Bromans. Of course, we always know the little pesky Zima Ion gets involved. Um, the Wolves took care of, you know, him pretty much. It was a pretty good match. It was a lot of action in this match. Um, they used the uh, ladder to, uh, you know, really take out the Wolves in the early going. Um, I really enjoyed this match. Um, the Wolves retained uh, after uh, throwing Zima Ion off the top of the ladder into the Bromance, Robbie E. and Jesse Goddard, and pretty much taking them out. Uh, Richards and um, Eddie Edwards were able to climb up the ladder and retrieve both tag team belts. So not a bad match. I, I really enjoyed that. Uh, we saw segments with... Um, as far as Eric Young coming out, like I said, he had he had a lot of airtime tonight coming out saying he wants, you know, he wants to be a um, champion that, um, you know, that, you know, puts a title on the line every week. And, of course, Bobby Roode came out, and Bobby Roode thinks, you know, that he still deserves another title shot, even though he was beaten last week. And then he went and delved into their past history, how they were friends, how they came in together and whatnot. You know, the usual thing to, you know, pretty much try to get your your point across. Uh, but MVP said that Eric Young was not going to defend tonight. And uh, so we leave it at that. Um, we saw Kazarian face the new faction, the Menagerie. Um, guys, some strange people in this group, led by Nux and Rebel. Ha, ha, ha. That's all I can say about her. I mean, uh, Frankie Kazarian, or I should say Kazarian, really didn't have a chance in this match. I mean, he, he put up a good fight, uh, but by no means did I expect him to win, and he didn't win. So, um, But I enjoyed it in any event. Um, again, you know, no Austin Aries, no Kenny King. Um, I just sort of makes me wonder what's going on with those two. Um, but 
Anyhow, we saw Willow, a.k.a. Jeff Hardy, in a match with Magnus, and accompanying him to the ring was Bram. Um, uh, if anybody doesn't know who he is, he's Kenneth Cameron. He was a former NXT member uh, that got released by the WWE. And this guy is taking TNA by storm. I mean, I like this character. Um, this guy is, you know, like brutal. And he's trying to show Magnus how he should be in the ring. And the thing of it was, when I was watching this, when uh, Bram came in and started taking out Jeff Hardy, Willow, I should say, uh, Magnus kept saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? Now, is Magnus going to remain heel? Or will he turn back to face or not? I mean, you know, it just sort of makes you wonder. So we just have to wait and see what develops there as well. Um, and then uh, the closing segment where MVP promised Eric Young he would announce who his slim adversity opponent would be. Uh, I had a hunch on this about a week or two ago. And like I said, I don't read spoilers. I just had a feeling that MVP was too good to be true um, as a face here in TNA, and I just had a gut feeling something was going to happen. And MVP did indeed turn heel on Eric Young tonight, and um, he beat him down, and he said he'll see him at Slam Anniversary. So it's going to be MVP versus Eric Young, and one has to wonder: uh, Will this be Eric Young's? last um, night as TNA World Heavyweight Champion when he faces MVP June 15th at Slim Reversary. So overall, I thought it was a pretty good show. Um, really enjoyed it. Uh, and they're on the right path. I really do think they're on the right path. They're bringing in new people. I think Kenneth Cameron as Brom or Bram or whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce him, um, He's got the makings of a great heel in TNA. And I think uh, it'd be nice to see him eventually match up against Gunner. Um, I think that would be um, a pretty good matchup. And again, you know, Gunner wasn't on the show tonight, nor was James Storm. I mean, just this is what TNA does. I mean, this is one thing I have against them is they don't have all their stars on. That probably should be on, but again, you got to realize it's only a two-hour show, um, whereas the other promotion is a three-hour show, and um, so they have more of an opportunity to, you know, have all their stars on there. Well, whichever stars they want, I should say. But I enjoyed TNA. I'm looking forward to it next week, and uh, hope everybody else that watched it enjoyed it as well. And so, with that being said. Have a great Thursday night, everybody. This is the Iceman. Peace out. Be safe. Stay healthy. And just have a good one overall.